Hi everyone, my name is Jonathan. The Zhong means is Cheng Haldi. So today I'll be talking about First Tech Challenge. We call it FTC. So does anyone have an idea what first is? Yes, you? Uh, no. That's a good guess though. Anybody else? No, okay. So first stands for for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. And here's a video of what first is. Founded by inventor Dean Kamen to inspire young people to become leaders and innovators in science and technology, FIRST brings kids ages 6 to 18 together with coaches, mentors, and professional engineers challenging them to do research and design, build, and program real robots for fun and competition. The experience they have, the knowledge they gain, and the friendships they make along the way help build self-confidence, ignite creativity, and inspire them to solve the world's greatest challenges be strong citizens, and build a brighter future. FIRST features a progression of four programs, each level designed to help kids develop new skills, learn how to work as a team, and practice gracious professionalism. In other words, helping everybody, not just your own team, and being a good sport. Support along their journey comes from thousands of adult coaches, mentors, volunteers, and sponsors. If you'd like to get involved in your area, visit us online. Okay, so first, like I said in the video, has four parts. It has FLL Junior, which is grades kindergarten to fourth grade. FLL, which is grades fourth to eighth grade. First Tech Challenge, which is seventh to twelfth grade. And First Robotics Competition, which is ninth to twelfth grade. But first in Michigan, it's a bit different. So FLL Junior is early elementary, which is kindergarten to third grade. So FLL is grades four and five. FTC, which is what we're doing, is middle school, which is sixth to eighth grade. And FRC is high school, it's ninth to 12th grade. So what is the FTC game? So you use the Tetrix kit to build a robot that will fit inside an 18 inch by 18 inch by 18 inch using Tetrix. So the game is played on a 12 feet squared playing field with a two team alliance against another two team alliance format. So each season, the rules and goals are different, but th the kit you can reuse. You don't have to buy a new one every year. So the FTC event we participated in is Velocity Vortex. So basically what you do is you have 30 seconds of Auton mode, which you can shoot particles into the center vortex, which is what our robot does, claim beacons, and park. And then during teleop mode, which is two minutes, you can collect particles and shoot them into the center vortex or corner vortex and claim beacons. The last 30 seconds of teleop mode is known as end game, and teams can raise cap balls and or cap the center vortex to get earn their alliance points. So our team consists of two coaches, seven members, and three high school mentors. So our two coaches are Coach Young and Coach, Coach Julie, and our three high school mentors are Jeannie, Audrey, and Neelish. Our seven members are me, Derek, Angela, Shrisha, Jessica, Ethan, and Alex. So. We did a lot of fundraising over our season because FTC is expensive. Can anybody guess how much we spent? Yes, you won the red. 100 million? No, <laughs> no, no. You. Uh, maybe up to 1,000? Uh, a little more than that. In the red. 2,000? Closer. Uh, 2,500? Closer. We spent $4,000 in this season alone. Yeah, it's expensive. So we sold pens with our team logo on it for five dollars each, and we made and our student mentor Audrey made us a website so you can donate to us. Tell your parents. Yeah, and we also received grants from First in Michigan, First, and the TFEE. They've been very helpful too. Yeah. So we had strategies for what we want to do because we're not ca we weren't capable of everything in our first year, and we wanted to know what we could do and what we wanted to do. So these are de our designs for our robot and our plans for what we do during the game itself. So like I mentioned earlier, we built with the Tetrix kit for to build our robot.
and our programming team, Ethan, Derek, and Alex, used an app, which is a software by MIT called App Inventor. So, each team is required an engineering notebook to show that, first of all, your parents and coaches didn't do all the work for you. And second of all, to show what you've done that meeting, your goals, and any problems. So this is our robot for the game. It's right over there. Basically what it does is it collects particles and shoots into the center vortexes and claims beacons. So we spend a lot of our time testing because we want to make sure that everything works right and there's no problems. So the judge interview is a time for teams to show off what they've done to the judges, their teamwork, and basically everything they've done throughout the whole FTC season. So each team gets to get a, go to two qualifiers for a chance to go to states. We didn't do so well in our first qualifier, but we qualified for states in our second, and we got sixth in states. So here's a video of our autonomous mode. It's 30 seconds. That there's our robot, it's preloaded with two particles, which you shoot into the center vortex. That's 30 points for us. So if we claim the beacon for, so sort of the beacon at the end of autonomous mode, whichever alliance color it's lit up with, or it's the alliance 30 points. And if the cat ball is knocked off, it's five points. And if the robot is parked, is partially parked on the center vortex base, you get five points. So total in the autonomous mode, we earned 70 points. So here's a video of our teleop mode, it's two minutes. This is a video of us at states. So autonomous mode, you can't use a controller, so you have to use pre-programmed programs. But in Teleop, you get to control it with your programs to drive the robot. So we want. So basically, our only goal is to just shoot, shoot, and shoot, and claim beacons at end game. Oh, whoops. If you shoot a particle and make it into the center vortex, it's worth five points. If you shoot into the corner vortex, they're worth one point. So beacons only award points at the end, so whatever alliance color it's at, shined at the end, the alliance gets 10 points, so they're pretty important. So you can't actually start lifting the ball or capping it until end game starts or else it's a penalty. So our alliance partner is also preparing to cap the ball and the other alliance already started. Okay, so that whistle signals that end game start and they capped it, that's 40 points for them. 
Yeah, they're pretty quick on it. So our plan for endgame is to just claim beacons and do nothing else. So our alliance partner, they're raising the ball. And they cap it, so it's 40 points for us. Mm. So it's the end of the game. Just set your controllers now. So some challenges we had are that the, so we used light sensors and they're very sensitive and any little disturbance will change the readings. And the gears, uh, if you make them too tight, they'll start wearing out. It'll get metal shavings. And if they're too loose, they won't turn each other at all. So what have we learned so far? One, teamwork is the most important thing. Two, nothing will go right the first time. You have to keep changing and adding. And three, nothing will work unless you do. So our goals are to become a better team, work hard, but also smart, and not goofing around during the team meeting. Yeah. So this is this year's FTC challenge. The rules haven't been unveiled yet, but we get to go see the rules on September 9th. Well, thanks for listening. Anyone have any questions? Oh, I have a question. Yes. Are there any fires? Fires? Uh -huh. No. Fires? What? Anyone else? No? Okay. Then.